Mr. Shannon, what happened? I can't wait to hear this. What happened? The Eagles happened. And Malcolm Butler talking about, what's this ish? We. Ain't no we. Y'all lost this game. I was on the sideline chilling. Skip. We've gone back and forth, and we, you, you, you and I joke a lot. And we saw Nick Foles, and, that, and we kept harping back. We did see him once go 27 touchdowns, two interceptions. We see him, he was selected to the Pro Bowl. Mm. He played well enough in his first playoff game to win mm. because when he left the field, he had the lead. Mm. Drew Brees then drove the team down. They kicked the game-winning field goal. So we knew he had some, 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 some pedigree. Mm. But we saw him leave Philly, go to the Rams, and it got so bad for him, he thought, he thought about retiring. Um, we've seen him play well. We saw him play the best football game of his career in the NFC Championship game. And I said, Skip, there's no way he can play like that again. There's no way. I said, because if he plays like that, they're going to win. So I'm saying, no way can he play like that. Skip, he played better. Because we've seen guys play well in the wild card game or play well, uh, uh, play in a divisional round or even the championship game. But there's nothing like that stage what is Super Bowl. Man, Skip loves QBR. Joe, you still like QBR? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me which quarterback had to hire QBR? 89 84, Nick Foles over Tom Brady. He answered everything Tom Brady threw at him. I thought the most important drive of the ball game for the Philadelphia Eagles coming out of the half, the Patriots got the ball first, and two minutes and 45 seconds later, they were in the end zone. And what did the Eagles and Nick Foles do? They went right back down the field. And it took them five minutes to get back, and they had another 10-point lead. Mm -hmm. Skip, they had to answer that bell. Because Tom, this is what Tom, this is what we know about the uh, uh, the Patriots. This is how they like to perform. They like to get a they like to get points right before the half, get points coming out of the half. Their defense gets you three and out, and Tom Brady's right back on the field. So if they're down, the next thing you know, they go in with a score, they come out with a score, they're either tied or they're ahead of you. But the Eagles said, no, we're not going away. Mm -hmm. We're built for this. You and I both felt 53-man to 53-man, the Eagles had the better team. No doubt. Minus mm -hmm. Gronk and Tom Brady. Obviously, the coaching, that, that was not even withstanding. That was not even up for debate. I just said minus Tom Brady, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and the drive after New England took the lead. And to go seven minutes and one second and go back down the field, Skip, that's huge. That is huge. Doug Peterson says, I've been aggressive all year, and we've seen teams get to this game. They play one way the whole season, and then when they get to this game, here we come in here on a Monday, or we come in here the following day, and like, that's not who they were. That's not who they've been the entire season. Mm -hmm. What changed? Skip, if you look at them, they were, uh, uh, when you combine third and fourth downs, they were 12 of 18. 12 of 18. Doug Peterson's going forward on fourth down. He pulled that old Baker Mayfield play. You know, Baker Mayfield, they ran that very same play against Georgia right before the half skip. They're going to get points. They could have like, oh, coach, look, let's just run the ball. No, Doug Peterson said, we're going for it. They did the exact same thing in the championship game. Eight minutes time of possession. We saw Jacksonville have the ball eight, nine minutes more than... Mm -hmm. than uh, Philly had it eight more Eight, eight more yeah. minutes, 34 and a half to mm -hmm. 25, 56. Mm -hmm. We saw Jacksonville in the championship they game. They did. Possess the ball more. They sure did. But they were keeping the ball four and five minutes mm -hmm. and punting it. Yep. The Eagles was keeping the ball four or five minutes and getting the ball in the end zone. And that's what you have to do. Convert third downs. Stay on the field. The best defense is Tom Brady on the sideline. Because mm -hmm. with the exception of that, that strip uh, by Graham... Mm -hmm. They really didn't get near Brady. Mm -mm. They played. I mean, they got near. They they knocked him around a little bit. They yeah, just, late in the ball game. You know? But Skip, I mean, he was fabulous. Five hundred yards, three receivers over a hundred yards, thirty what thirty two points, thirty three three. Points. Yep. But it didn't matter because why? What happened in the fourth quarter, Skip, when Tom Brady is all his all time best? What couldn't the defense do? Couldn't get off the field. Because you remember, you're talking about how historically great he was. I just need to know why Tom Brady couldn't deliver the Patriots last night. I'll tell you why, what I've been telling you all along. Everybody wants to make it about Tom Brady. He's historically great, he's transcendent great. 
He's the greatest quarterback of all time. Mm -hmm. But there's a two-part series to this. Mm -hmm. When the defense can't get you off the field, Mm -hmm. because in those four previous games, they had given up a total of three points against the Ravens in the championship game, against uh, who else they played? Oh, Seattle. Oh, Seattle, the Legion of Boom. Atlanta Falcons, the Jacksonville Jaguars. The defense gave up three points. They gave up 12 yesterday, and that's what happened. I just want to know why Tom Brady had two cracks, couldn't mm. bring it home, Skip. Mm. He had two cracks. Mm-hmm. Two cracks. The greatest quarterback to ever play. The greatest athlete. He's more clutch than Michael Jordan. He is. And he was last night. Hey, as Michelle and Jago and Cello would say, if he was, he wasn't last night. Mm. If that's your boy. Tell me when you're finished. I'm done. I'm not, I, no, I'm finished with this part yeah. of the equation. I'm going to let you go because I love, look, love looking at your face right now. Mm. So, I cannot tell you how many issues I have with everything you just said. I saw a very different game. I must have been on a different channel than you. I don't know. I saw this other game. Yeah, I'm about you, to explain the game I saw. Yeah, you listen to the but sound. But before I explain it, I want to do two things. What? I want to congratulate the Philadelphia Eagles. I hate the Eagles. As a longtime, lifelong Cowboy fan, I hate them. But I congratulate them. And I want to congratulate America, most of America, on getting to see a wildly exciting and wildly entertaining game that Tom Brady did not win. Because I'm sure most of America loved that last night. And you got to see, as Joy pointed out, an all-time record yards, not just for a playoff game or a Super Bowl, for any NFL game in the history of the league. The most combined yards. 98 years of playing football. That's impossible. When I heard that late last night, I said, that cannot be. 1,151 combined yards. America feasted on all those yards (laughs) along with their Super Bowl buffets. Could it get any better than that? And Tom Brady lost? It just can't be better than that. But now for my bottom, bottom line, my bottom of the barrel line. Okay. While I saw a Tom Brady who was at his all-time greatest last night, Mm -hmm. I saw a Brady who has never been better than he was last night with not just a Super Bowl record 505 yards passing, that's an all-time playoff record. For all the playoff games ever played and all the Super Bowls ever played, 505 is at the number one top of that list. And Tom Brady accomplished that without his deep threat receiver for the final three quarters. There was no Brandon Cooks. So no Edelman, no Martellus, no Brandon Cooks. And he still pulled off 505 passing yards. But meanwhile, his partner in crime, Bill Belichick, was at his all-time awfulest, all-time worst. Bill Belichick's defense last night was an all-time embarrassment. If, in fact, Bill Belichick is what you've been trying to explain to me and tell me and convince me of, that he's an all-time genius of a coach. After we saw that 30 for 30 the other night on ESPN, the two Bills, Bill Belichick and Bill Parcells, and you came away saying... I, I have. I'm, I'm in even more awe of his legacy. Are now. you trying to tell me they sold us what? a uh, bill of goods? Yes, a bill of goods. <laughs> Nick Foles. Nick Foles last night, to, to quote you, was 12 of 18 combined on third and fourth down against Bill Belichick's genius defense. The Eagles had 538 yards against Bill Belichick's defense, and is this correct? I, I can't get this number in my head. Nick Foles' offense scored 41 points against Bill Belichick's dip. 41? Oh, what? Who would have thunk it? I still can't. Like, I woke up this morning, I said, I dreamed that. No, I didn't dream that. 41 points. You mean to tell me you went to sleep after that? <sighs> no, I, 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 don't think I wanted to go to you sleep. You laid down, but you were asleep. Bill Belichick did not hold up his end of the Brady-Belichick bargain last night. That's the bottom line. And I will bet you that somewhere right now, Tom Brady is still outraged at Bill Belichick and at the quote-unquote defensive coordinator, Matt Patricia, but we know who coordinates and strategizes this defense is Bill Belichick. Okay. Brady has to be outraged against those two because Tom Brady scored more points in the Super Bowl last night than any Super Bowl loser has ever scored. He scored 33 points. Wouldn't you think that would be enough to win that game? Yeah. Give me a, just a little bit, a hint of defense. The only hint I got was they win. Of course, this is Bill Belichick, the genius. They win the toss and defer. He takes the ball out of Tom Brady's hands and puts it in Nick Foles' hands. And Foles goes right down the, the field. And the only play they really made in the whole game was they kept him out of the end zone. It right. was only three points. But you could see what was about to come. So, 
Tom Brady did in the fourth quarter what he has done seven times in the Super Bowl in fourth quarters. He conducted a come-from-behind, go-ahead, potential game-winning drive. Mm -hmm. He's got five that stood up in Super Bowls. Yes. And he has one that didn't stand up against the, the in the first Eli game because he got Tyreed after he scored, hit Randy Moss with 242 to go mm -hmm. to put them up 14 to 10. And last night, he did it again. He improbably, against all odds, brought them back to 33-32 Patriots, I, I was just dumbfounded. I was spellbound. I just sat back. That's 9.22 left in the game. Brady did it again. He put them back ahead 33-32. to 32. And to your point, the Eagles proceeded to go on a 14-play, 75-yard drop. 14 plays and 75 yards. Just make one play. I'm just screaming. I like I'm pacing and screaming. Ernestine is just fierce. She won't talk to me. Hazel won't speak to me. You tell her she won't talk to you. You don't let her talk to you when hey, you when you going through these I, emotions. I, I just I was out of my mind because it's a one play game. Somebody on defense on either side needed to make one play, and in the end, Brandon Graham made the one play, one play. and that was a great play. And remember, we had Keenan Allen sitting right here where Joy was sitting. And what did he say? You said, what about Brandon? What do you think about Brandon Graham? I don't think I brought him up. Yeah, he I said thought he's a was... game. No, you asked. You say, well, you know, Fletcher yeah. Cox said, what about Graham? He said, he's a game changer. He's the game changer. But he, he it, beyond Fletcher Cox, yes. he said, that's the game changer. Yes. And finally, he blew by Shaq Mason. He'd been trying to bull rush him, and he blew off the left shoulder and got free. And Boy. he just made one great play on Tom Brady. I didn't think it was a particularly poor play. I mean, I don't like it that he lost the football. Right. But then they got a bounce because sometimes those balls bounce back to you. But it bounced right up to Barnett. to Barnett. And it's basically game over at that right. point. So they made the one play. And the Patriots couldn't make one play all night. And I would suggest to you, and we're going to get more deeply into this later in the show, Malcolm Butler could make a play because that's what he does. Again, does he have great hands? No, but he's got ball hawk in him, and he's always around the football, and he's always getting his hands on a right. play. And obviously, he made the greatest defensive final play of a Super Bowl we've ever Might seen. Might have been in playoff history. In, in history, it was. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just simply was, and it changed the fates right. of two franchises, it, right? You and I are thinking the exact same thing. So you mean to tell me uh, uh, in Super Bowl Forty Nine, the starting cornerback is struggling. He inserts an undrafted rookie he free did. agent. West Alabama. You have the confidence to insert him, an undrafted rookie. You have the confidence to insert him in the Super Bowl, but he's shown you something during the course of the week that you didn't like and you felt comfortable yeah. enough not starting him. Malcolm Butler yep. played more defensive snaps than any other Patriots player throughout the entire season the whole of season. 2017. Like 98% of the snaps he played. Right. He didn't start the New Orleans game. I think he was a little bit in the doghouse right. off the Thursday night opener debacle right. against right. Kansas City. So even if we take that out of it, and Skip, I'm not saying, I can assure you, you could tell during the National Anthem that he was getting carried out and he was peeping. He and was two crying. of his teammates are hugging him. Yeah. Like, like they're arm and arm and arm. But here's the thing. I'm sure he's practicing. He didn't know he wasn't going to start. No, no, before. this had to be moments Mom before, moments or before it would have leaked, or he wouldn't have yes. been so upset before kickoff. Skip, I thought the thing is, let's go back this entire season. What team gave the New England Patriots the most problems? The Kansas City Chiefs. Where does Nick, where does Doug okay, Peterson derive from? Same idea. Look at the yeah. routes. Mm -hmm. Look at what Clement was uh, doing. Also, the, the whole action derives from run pass option, and Nick Foles set a record last night for play action, action passes in a Super Bowl with 21. Well, it's it's, it's an easy record because their, their whole action is off that. Like, every play starts with the play fake. But the thing was, Skip, is that they had to get eight guys down because yep. they couldn't stop the run. I got it. The Winnebago, LeGarrette Blunt. 164 rush the one, The guy that they didn't want it. anymore, he was gashing them. Jay Jahi, the guy you guys didn't want anymore, he was gashing them. And Clement they, was gashing them. Was Everybody he, was But see, here's the thing. The difference between what Kansas City did and what Eagles did is that Kansas City had one guy doing all the damage, Kareem Hunt. Yep. He was running it. He was also catching he it. was. Because remember, that, the, the route that he went for like 70, wheel. snuck yep. out the backfield, Clement scored a touchdown. Yep. They caught him again on a wheel route up the sideline. Yep. He got it down to like mm -hmm. the five. So you saw a lot of similarities. 537 yards for one team. 538 for the other. Mm -hmm. 41 points for one team, 42 for, for the other. So we see a lot of similarities, but Doug Peterson was aggressive. 
He skills. was. Well, he said before the game, his mantra was basically, if you're going to beat the champ, you have to knock the champ out. Correct. And if you're going to knock him out, you just have to play to win. You, every time you're faced with a go for it, you go for it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.